When, yeah. when you were working out your routine, can you show me uh, going from here into the when her eight are linked? Eight? Yeah. Can you, well, when they're linked at eight places. Would you mind if I keep my cigar in my mouth? No. <laughs> well, you want to? Oh, you want to link them? In other words, you want to bring one ring the full length of the chain. You see, you do that by a simple series of moves like that. Now you can also put it on very slowly, like that. Beautiful. Do you find going slowly down the well, chain? Well, it depends. That's another. You try it both ways. Try it and hit the ideal speed. See, and that's the, the yeah. idea. How about when they go and when they link in eight places and then when well, you, they come apart? You see, it's a pretty movement to spin them, but don't overdo it just because you like to do it. You do this and you, it looks like a ship propeller and so on and so forth. And I'm not used to your rings. I use little larger rings, but. You show that they're linked in eight different places, and then you bring them up and you can link them in two places. Ah, oh, that's the part you I... You say it's all done by the Chinese <laughs> twist. Or whatever you want <laughs> Yeah. Good. Trial and error is the best way. I mean, I'll do the best, I mean, work it out, and then... Why, why did you... And don't make any superfluous moves. Try to avoid superfluous moves. Take them out whenever you do anything. The more you can take out, and you end up with something beautiful. The great Leonardo da Vinci said that details make for perfection, but perfection is no detail. The power of the imagination is wonderful, and I'd like everyone to help me out and use your imagination on these three ropes. I have a long rope, a medium rope, and a short rope. Now I'll put all the ends together here in my hand, and that's what you see, a long rope, a medium rope, and a short rope. Now if you just stretch your imagination a little bit, you should be able to see three ropes exactly the same length. I hope you can all imagine this because it's quite a good illusion. One, two, three ropes exactly the same length. Now this is an illusion. The ropes did not stretch because although the ends are the same length up here and the middles are the same length down there, if you stop imagining right now, you should see I have a very long rope, a medium-sized rope, and a little tiny short rope. Here.